Hi, Fit Bottom Girls. We are so happy to join you today to talk all things probiotics. I'm Brooke Alpert, a registered dietitian with a private practice in New York City, and I'm really excited to be joined here by Lucy Gardner, who is a world champion cyclist, and together we're here in the Netherlands uh, in Amsterdam, where Lucy lives and trains. Uh, it's Culturelle Probiotics that brought us together today as they're a product of DSM, which is an innovation partner with Lucy's team, Giant, Alpacin, and Live Part Planteur. And we're really excited you made the time for us today. And I have your questions, and I'm excited to start asking away. So the first one is to Lucy, which is, how does your daily nutrition support your training, um, but how does it vary from race day to training? Yeah, it definitely does vary. Not not so much, but I guess the amount you eat in training, it doesn't have to be so much. Um, especially, yeah, if you are trying to lose weight, um, you may be advised not to eat as much, but of course you've got to make sure that you're fueling yourself enough to finish the race, uh, finish the ride, that's very important. Um, but in a race, um, I will be eating a lot, especially the day before. Food is fuel, so I have to make sure yeah, I'm on top of my eating. Um, the, day, the day before a race, um, I'll usually have, yeah, a big sort of bowl of pasta and obviously a lot of vegetables. That's very important. And on the race, I make sure, especially in the race, I'm drinking a lot. That's very important to keep hydrated. Right. A a absolutely. And, and the next question is, to me, it's what's the number one mistake that I see athletes make when it comes to nutrition and how do you suggest they avoid that mistake? Well, you know, and Lucy and I, we were talking earlier that you don't have to be a professional athlete to have to take good care of yourself as we're all running our own marathons every day. So whether you're training for a 5K, whether you're out on a bike race, or whether you're taking care of your children or just getting to work and surviving each day with the best that you can, you know, I see a lot of people make the same mistakes. Number one, they're not hydrating enough. Dehydration is the number one most cause, common cause of fatigue, of headaches, of overeating. So many people mistake hunger for thirst. We're more likely to grab things we're not supposed to when we're thirsty. So that's number one. Number two is not eating enough or planning your meals. Just like Lucy needs to plan ahead for pre-race day, the morning of a race, and throughout the race, Everyone, again, whether you're just a marathon runner or you're living your life like a marathon, it's really important to have your meals spaced out and well planned. But then the third most important thing, and actually this is probably number one in my book, is making sure that you take a daily probiotic. You know, 70% of your immune system is in your gut. And taking a daily probiotic, especially one like Culturelle probiotics, is the best way that you can support your immune system. You know, as, as a mom, as a worker, as a racer, we don't really get days off. And I think it's really important that you do everything you can to support your immune system. Um, let's talk to Lucy's next question. Our readers love to hear about real moments that you experience. Have you ever had a time when your nutrition was not on target? And how did that affect your performance? I guess, did you ever have a nutrition whoops? I guess, yeah, I think, um, yeah, in the winter is obviously a time when you can relax and I think that's also a time where you do, you can put on weight and it's very easy to and I think, yeah, you, sign, you, you can get into a routine of, of maybe eating the things you shouldn't do and then that causes, yeah, obviously to put on weight and then it is harder obviously to then lose, lose weight again for, for the race weight, as you say, um, but I think probably the, one of the moments that has happened to me is actually when I've just, I've been silly and just almost forgotten to eat and drink on the bike and it's so important to keep reminding yourself to do that because it's so easy you get you get stuck in the race and you're attacking you, you it's there's so much so many things going on in a race and I think that's probably one of the moments yeah where you can lose it because you just completely as a cyclist we call it bonk and you have nothing left to give and that, it can happen a lot with athletes yeah and I, I think that pretty much anybody can have a bonk too, or we could bonk easily. Um, let's see, the next question is, I know that increasing strength while maintaining lean body uh, is of utmost importance for cyclists and something that your readers are interested in doing too. What are the top tips for, for doing that? Well, really, the, the best thing that you can be doing is making sure that your diet is well balanced. In my practice, one of the rules is that everyone needs to make sure there's a protein source and a fiber source on their plate at every single meal. So if you can do that, you're gonna help build lean muscle mass, you're gonna lose the fat that you don't want on your body, as well as give yourself enough energy to get through any workout or any race that you possibly can. 
Lucy does get to eat a lot more carbohydrates than I would recommend in my office due to her extreme training. Um, but, you know, it's really important that we take guilt out of food. And so, you know, the question also includes about how to feel satisfied. You feel satisfied when you really enjoy what you eat. And there's so many people that feel guilty about the food that they're eating. And I think it's really important to make sure that you eat everything that's good for your body, but also to have those few bites of an indulgence that taste good and then stop when you're no longer in need of it anymore. Um, you know, and a great thing to do is by not overeating and by not overdoing it, really listening to the, what your body is telling you. And because digestive problems are so pertinent in athletes and in every, everyday people, whether you're running a 5K or just trying to get to work on time, by taking that daily probiotic, it's really important to help support your gut health and really boost your digestive system to keep you regular, to keep the gas and the bloating at bay, to keep you comfortable on a bike, to prevent any sort of digestive issues while you're traveling, which I know, Lucy, you do a lot. So I, I can't say enough about Culturel. I really do recommend that everybody takes it. Um, it's number one for a reason. And we are really happy that you decided to come and talk to us today about everything Culturel. And so thank you so much for having us on. And we look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.